Warning, the following video contains spoilers from AMC's The Walking Dead. Michonne and Rick get into a heap of trouble. Negan gets a gift. Aaron and Enid don't lack beaches. Simon over delivers a message. Jadis has mulch to be remorseful about. And Rick reads Negan's mail. All on the Governor React. Hi there, they call me the governor. And after last week's cry fest, we got a six part episode that proves that Rick is a lunatic. Oh, other people are lunatics too, but Rick takes the top prize. This episode was structured in a very interesting fashion. The first part of the first part, called Michonne, showed me she was grieving for Carl. Finding the handprints, fighting to save a gazebo that Carl apparently used to sit on. Though honestly, I don't remember that. Nor do I really want to scan back to see when it happened. But truly, Michonne was deeply affected. While Rick, I don't know if he's in denial or shock or just slow. Doesn't seem to be taking Carl's death very hard. I'm thinking slow. Because he decides he wants to visit the heapsters and make sure they are on his side. If I could have slapped him, I would have. They flipped on him, they flipped on Negan. Take a hint, you idiot. They take the side they think is best for them. And right now, your side ain't looking so good. Even Michonne thought it was a bad idea, but she went along with it. She needs to remember her Wakandan roots. Of course, a little snare waiting for them seemed pretty ingenious, trapping them with a bunch of biters. But more on that later. So Negan seems to think he can bring things back under control. Simon isn't so sure. I'm with Simon on this one. They don't even know about Gavin yet. <laughs> but Maggie's little gift really pissed Simon off. But instead of doing anything about it, Negan wants Simon to visit the Heapsters and deliver a message. Really? I think Negan could use some management training. Because the way he pisses off his lieutenants, he's not going to be in charge for very much longer. Oh, we do finally find out what's in store for Aaron and Enid. Captured and then execution! Till Enid shows some common sense and talks Cindy out of it. But what is it with the young folk being smart and the supposed adults being fools? Aaron decides he's going to stay behind, wander around the woods, and hopes to get a few recruits? Learn from Hollywood, Aaron. No means no. So Simon shows up to deliver Negan's message with a lot of style. Though he was only supposed to kill one. There you go. Oops. There's another. And then it's just about everybody, except one. I think he might have gotten the message mixed up. He's got balls to go against Negan like that. And when he lies about it later, not a peep from anyone else. I think Negan's saviors are starting to come apart. So it turned out the horde of biters attacking Michonne and Rick were the former heapsters. Everyone was killed except for Jadis. And Rick, having taken Carl's message of peace to heart, graciously helps Jadis escape. Only kidding. He abandons her, and then he and Michonne make their escape. And Jadis was speaking normally, too. What's up with that? I have to admit, though, that I was impressed with Jadis. Turning her former friends into paste was ingenious and necessary. They had to have that machine set up just in case a herd got in. They just didn't know they'd be the herd. But the look on her face. Mulch remorse? Michonne tries to talk. There's a cat. Michonne tries to talk to Rick, trying to make him think about what Carl would have wanted. Some might have respected the final words of their dying child. But not Rick. <laughs> he reads a note written from Negan, which is rude, by the way, then informs Negan of Carl's death. Hell, Negan seems more affected than Rick is. But after telling Negan how Carl wants peace, Rick is back to his old refrain. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Now I'm thinking Negan pointing out Rick's failures as a father was a bit harsh. I actually think Carl turned into a 
fine young man by the end, despite Rick. A long way from the psycho little bastard he was back at the prison. So Rick is still bloodthirsty. Carl's death hasn't affected him except to make him angrier. I have to wonder if he's going to be hit by it in the future or continue his journey down crazy lane. They thought I was nuts. This episode was entertaining, though I have to admit I enjoyed the segments with Negan, Simon, and Jadis the best. Still, it seems like a build-up episode. Like they are trying to escalate to some killer finale. Pardon the pun. But you can only draw things out so long before people are going to get bored. And next week's episode seems to be the story of Get to Hilltop. Through a swamp. Anyone live in the real Alexandria who can tell me if there are swamps nearby? Do they have rodents of unusual size? One last note. This half a season they're calling The Last Stand. I seem to remember another franchise that subtitled part of it as The Last Stand, and it's the most hated X-Men movie ever. Well, though the first Wolverine story gives it a run for its money. Can we get a Days of Future Past in here somewhere to fix this? Watch to the end for some other videos you might like. Until next week, Governor, out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's a couple more I think you might enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember, those who subscribe, survive.